have people that are political hacks negotiating our trade deal. The IRS says uh, an me. audit of your taxes, uh, it's, you're perfectly free to release uh, your taxes during an audit. And so the question, does the public's right to know outweigh your personal... Well, I told you, I will release them as soon as the audit. Look, I've been under audit almost for 15 years. I know a lot of wealthy people that have never been audited. I said, do you get audited? I get audited almost every year. And in a way, I should be complaining. I'm not even complaining. I don't mind it. It's almost become a way of life. I get audited by the IRS, but other people don't. I will say this. Uh, we have a situation in this country that has to be taken care of. I will release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes when she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted. As soon as she releases them, I will release. I will release my tax returns. And that's against my lawyers. They say, don't do it. I will tell you this. No, in fact, watching shows, uh, reading the papers. Almost every lawyer says, you don't release your returns until the audit's complete. When the audit's complete, I'll do it. But I would go against them if she releases her... So email. it's negotiable? It's not negotiable. No, let her release the... Email. Why did she delete 33,000? Well, I'll let her ask that, but let me just uh, admonish the audience one more time. There was an agreement. We did ask you to be silent, so it would be helpful for us. Secretary Clinton. Well, I think you've just seen another example of bait and switch here. Um, for 40 years, everyone running for president has released their tax returns. You can go and see nearly, I think, 39, 40 years of our tax returns, but everyone has done it. We know the IRS has made clear there is no prohibition on releasing it when you're under audit. So you've got to ask yourself, why won't he release his tax returns? And I think there may be a couple of reasons. First, maybe he's not as rich as he says he is. Second, Maybe he's not as charitable as he claims to be. Third, we don't know all of his business dealings, but we have been told through investigative reporting that he owes about $650 million to Wall Street and foreign banks. Or maybe he doesn't want the American people, all of you watching tonight, to know that he's paid nothing in federal taxes because the only years that anybody's ever seen for a couple of years when he had to turn them over to state authorities when he was trying to get a casino license and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So if he's smart. paid zero, that means zero for troops, zero for vets, zero for schools or health. And I think probably he's not uh, all that enthusiastic about having the rest of our country see uh, what the real reasons are, because it must be something really important, even terrible, that he's trying to hide. And the financial disclosure statement, they don't give you the tax rate. They don't give you all the details that tax returns would. And it just seems to me that this is something that the American people deserve to see. And I have no reason to believe that uh, he's ever going to release his tax returns because there's something he's hiding. And we'll guess, we'll keep guessing at what it might be that he's hiding. Uh, but I think the question is, were he ever to get near the White House, what would be those conflicts? Who does he owe money to? Well, he owes you the answers to that, and he should provide them. He also, he also raised the issue of your emails. Do you want to respond to that? I do. You know, I made a mistake using a private email. That's for sure. Um, and if I had to do it over again, I would obviously do it differently. Um, but I'm not going to make any excuses. It was a mistake, and I take responsibility for that. Mr. Trump? That was more than a mistake.